Hi there, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Holidays are over and I am playing with some stuff again. This time I'll show you how to make music rolls for a pianola player. Well, the whole music roll and pianola uh, madness started with this hand cranked Sankyo. A uh, mini organ that plays paper strips like this one and it sounds like so. So I modified that a little bit to sit in an enclosed, enclosed enclosure because that sounds better. Uh, you can guess the melody. It's not an easy guess. I will tell you after I played it. That's not part of the melody. That's just a lead-in of the paper strip. Sorry, it hangs sometimes because the paper is a little bit too thick, so you always have to pull it. It's the national anthem of the of Mongolia. So I'm pretty sure you didn't guess that, and you probably ask why I punched that into paper. Well, it's simple. I like the melody. It's a wonderful melody, and it sounds nice. So, where is the secret? How do you make music rolls, punched cards like that? So, the answer is you need MIDI book. It's a software from a Dutch uh, club of uh, mini organ uh, enthusiasts and uh, it's pretty easy to use. Here you Choose a MIDI file, um, then you choose the GAM file, I will explain later what that is. Uh, then you hit translate and if you are lucky you get no errors here, ok. And there is a preview button where you can see the paper strip, that's page 1, we can advance to page 2, 3, 4, and then you print that out and you start cutting the holes and of course you have to stitch the, in, uh, the individual pages together and so on. Ok, let's go back to what it is. So first MIDI files. You need a MIDI file for whatever music you want. The best, uh, the best way to find this is if you look at Google for a MIDI file for piano players or for piano because there are a lot of MIDI files and for example MIDI files with some uh, movie, movie music uh, always has uh, per percussions and all kind of effects in it. So that's stuff you either have to cut out or it, it doesn't work on a, on a piano player. Um, so you can try any MIDI file. You can uh, also test it. I will show you that later. Then you have to scale and that's the most important file because it describes um, well, the geometry of the, of the paper roll. So, first of all, there is a title 
everything behind this uh, dot comma um, semicolon is just text so this is my 65 notes aeolian piano roll and it starts with uh, key number 0033 now what does that mean uh, in a midi file or in a midi instrument every key has a number every note has a number and well it happens to be you can find that online for a regular piano for example that's what i use uh, the first key that i have on my aeolian uh, pianola is midi number 33 that's in fact uh, let me see that's note a1 so it's the note a of the first or of the second octave so a full keyboard starts with a0 uh, i only have 65 notes a full keyboard has 88 notes so midi number 33 is my first note or the lowest note then we go up 34 35 6 40 40 60 and so on until we get to the note number 65 or the 65th note which is midi number 97 in my case so if you have a full piano player with 88 keys you type in all the 88 keys you have with the corresponding number well that's more or less it that describes what keys that my instrument can play and in which direction they are if you have a piano that is uh, upside down somehow and the lowest key are on the right side then you start here down with number uh, 33 and go up to 97 but normally it starts with the lowest notes and then the other part of this file is the description of the note roll itself so we have the number of keys 65 so the strange names here is because this is dutch totes that's the the key key number 97 that's uh, the number of um, keys that are on the instrument then we have snellheit the speed of the roll i chosen 26 millimeters per second that's 26.0 millimeters per second then we have a whole diameter so every instrument needs a different diameter of the holes in the finished paper i measured mine to be 2.3 millimeters then we have an upper and a lower margin that's the margin on the paper strip that has no holes so the edge if you want it's eight millimeters on each side um, then we have a minimum note length that is in my case the diameter of the hole so i cannot uh, make half a hole so that makes no sense so the note length is the same as the whole diameter then we have track distance that's 4.05 millimeters which turned out to be correct in my case it also depends on what printer you use and uh, what paper probably you use so that's fine for me we have 405 hundreds of a millimeter that's the h stands for hundreds if the h is not there this would be 40.5 millimeters okay and then we have uh, the type of printing how the, the, the notes are printed to the paper and i have chosen note type p with uh, 
which prints a sequence of overlapping circles and uh, the pitch between the circles is minus 12 that means minus 1.2 millimeter that's about half of the whole diameter so that means if a long note is uh, played or has to be played uh, it prints a series of holes overlapping by half a whole diameter and that's already all you need you have the number of uh, notes you have the distance between the note tracks you have uh, the margins up the upper and the lower or the left and the right depends on which way you hold your paper and all that together defines well how your note sheet or your paper roll at the end looks like and if everything is set up correctly your printed roll should look a little bit like that and for example you see here that's a row of circles overlapping each other that makes one long note and if we zoom in you can see it's just circles uh, that's exactly the pattern they used for the original rolls uh, with one difference they didn't cut it by hand they had a machine doing that so you can see that here probably so the individual you can see the individual punch marks here so one long hole yeah i think we get it now one long hole is a series of small punched out circles okay but what can you do if your MIDI file doesn't fit onto your machine because if the sound is too high or too low it overlaps the capabilities of your machine well for that case we have where is it here we have Noter, another software from the Dutch guys and you can use that to open a file a MIDI file for example the one I just used there so you can look at the file and if you want you can transpose it higher or lower you can edit all the notes you can play it let me see you can even play it faster if you want okay so that's a MIDI editing software that is very useful especially if you want to for example if you have a certain MIDI file that has some uh, special effects in it you can cut them away here um, I'm not very familiar with that program I just uh, achieved it to transpose this song a little bit and save it and but uh, the great thing is there is a good help manual and the help is available in German, English, Dutch uh, and uh, I think a couple of more languages it always takes a while to open it it's a large uh, PDF file ah yeah now it comes so it has a very detailed uh, user manual here with all the uh, options and uh, possibilities of this software so if you need uh, music rolls for any instrument it doesn't matter what instrument you can make it for a 20 note uh, mini organ for a 30 note uh, hand crank organ or even for a whatever you have for a for a whole orchestrion you can also make different tracks uh, you just have to define that GAM file 
or that scale file as it's called in the newer version so that's midi book for windows 10 well it's made for windows 10 it also runs in an older version midi book 8 runs from xp they say they have certain uh, problems with vista but who is using vista anyway okay so let's go on and print something By the way, that very cool printer here I found in the dumpster. I don't know why. It's working. It has ink. It has everything. It even opens the, the drawer port here automatically. So no problems with that. I don't know why someone tossed that away. But I'm happy to have it. It's a good printer. And here you can see the result. I have three pages. I didn't print all of them because first I have to check if everything is okay, which it turns out is not. So I made this ruler here with a line here and a line here. That is exactly the width of the original paper roll. And if everything is printed correctly, the black line here and the missing black line here should be exactly at this width. The problem is now every printer is a little bit different. So you have to print out the first page. You can print that page with the title here. It also has the two lines or in this case only one line. And then you can adjust the software to print until it fits exactly to the uh, value you need. And I'll show you that how that works. So the exact geometry adjusting is under settings, translate parameters. And it's this calibration factor here. Let me zoom in a little bit. So normally, if you start the program, your calibration value here is 1000. That means nothing happens. It just prints as it thinks it's all right. And if your print is too big, you increase that value so in fact there is a, a little formula you have a, a certain well that's too complicated um, i just tried it and i found that 1050 is the right calibration for the printer in my girlfriend's house and now i'm here in uh, my apartment i have another printer and it seems i have to go a little bit higher so the higher the calibration number, the smaller the actual printout gets in thousands or one to one thousand. So you can do a pretty nice and pretty precise calibration of the actual print size and you change that value until your printed paper is exactly in the way you want it and I think that's more or less everything you need here because that's what I used to do and it worked as you will see shortly
So I don't want to show you the entire process of cutting. I can only tell you it takes about four hours for one and a half minutes of music, depending on how many notes you have, of course, and uh, depending on the technique you use. And probably I'm getting faster with the time and probably, I hope so, uh, I will find some way to do this automatically with some kind of machine. But that's the moment you all waited for. Let's hear how it actually sounds on the pianola.